Here are the final pieces of the collection now added. I'm going to start off first of all with a print of a Mayan courtesy. I'm wearing gloves because I don't like these things to be touched. It's not because they're, they're ancient, it's because they've been produced to go into cabinets. The paints can tarnish, things can, uh, can smear and uh, handling them is not a good idea. So I want people to realize that they're buying these things, that they keep them in glass cabinets or mount them on the wall. This is an amazing Maya Codis Codex page that shows the Stargate. It shows it right here. And an Amiga symbol and a cosmic serpent that goes away to and address the Pleiades. This is the destination, this is the point of origin. And the point of origin is the calendar stone. It's that same pattern. I'm going to prove that that's basically the capstone for that Stargate. It's actually active. If you look to the left now, there is the active Stargate, a serpent coming out of the Stargate. It has the Tau symbol as well for it. This codex is explained in the next uh, video that, that is linked with this one. Sticking on the prints, this is an Egyptian papyrus print that is of the Ouroboros, the serpent eating its tail, a Stargate symbol with the entity stepping out of the Stargate and he comes from the back of Taurus. I'm going to show you how this entity is found on another artifact that proves the Stargate. This is the Shen symbol, an Egyptian artifact found in the Berlin Museum. This replica has been uh, reproduced that it is clearer. The one in the museum is a damaged artifact. Um, the detail again, this is that same entity you just saw, the three suns, cosmic serpents coming out of temples coming out of the uh, lotus flower as well. This is the, the Amiga symbol, proving the Amiga symbol. Now after realizing this binding part or the ramp, whatever's coming down from it is probably both a binding or a ramp, the Ankh of Tutankhamun's mirror box replica, which is another new replica joining the set, the Herschel collection. There it is, three suns. Same thing as we saw in the other one. Tutankhamun has put his name in here. It's the uh, instead of the deity coming out of the, the blinding stargate, the blazing uh, stargate, Tutankhamun has put his name as the keeper of these two stargates. Look closely here. What do you see? The serpent is coming out of the Shen symbol. It's a Tau cross. There's the T that's a binding. This is exactly, it said, what we have here is literally a stargate mounted on a Tau cross, the Tau, the T. This is available uh, for collectors as well. Now that we're realizing those three suns, I've got to go back to the Inca golden star map. We didn't know what these three symbols here are. Okay, look at the oblong sun. The oblong pattern is for these suns, three suns in a, in a row. Just like we had on the Shen symbol and on the Egyptian one, one large one in the middle, two on the side, we have exactly the same thing. This is the Inca civilization. It's nowhere near Egypt. So we can complete this now with these three. It even has the exoplanet, Orion showing the way. The cosmic dragon. Where is the cosmic serpent dragon? Right here. It goes around the temple. This whole artifact is a, a, a Mayan, sorry, a, a Inca shaman's representation of what was once in the Kurikansha temple. That's why it looks like a building. It has a roof and a base and an altar. This is the exoplanet and you'll see the cosmic serpent does a long journey it goes around the temple that's why it goes off Pisha. it shows that this this serpent was decorated right around the whole temple and comes around back here this is the cosmic dragon and it's landing in south america by our sun system so we have the serpent coming to our sun system and now we have the full complete thing understood so these are exactly the same style as the other star map showing the three suns. And the three suns, the Genesis stone. This is the Sumerian Kuduru. There's the three suns. Look at that beautiful symbol with a crescent and an exoplanet, exoplanet sun, exoplanet sun. So there's three of them. And the serpent that travels from the top of it right down to the bottom to the upside down Amiga where it's open here shows three temples. Two are capped three horns on it to show the three suns uh, capstone or headdress 
the open conduit. There is the symbol for our sun. It's a mace. On the ground, the full story animated. Uh, below the three suns, we have the three temples. One active cosmic serpent dragon. Two that are basically capped with these symbols on top to obviously represent them. There is the Amiga symbol. This is what links the heavens and the earth. The scorpion, as I showed in my uh, linking video to this one, if you go on the star program and look where our sun resides, you'll find viewed from the Pleiades, our sun resides right here. And that's the, the boot symbol and the eagle symbol to travel, to found civilization on earth. There it is. The Kuduru Genesis stone. What a beautiful artifact available for the public. Now that we know um, the stomach symbols tied to the tree of life, I want to start with the, the Indus civilization new piece that's uh, added to the collection. It has the cosmic lion being ridden by an entity, and you'll see it's connected to the tree of life uh, like plasma ribbons, and it goes to the mouth of the lion. He's saying holding the three uh, stars of Orion's belt, follow the three stars of Orion's belt to the Pleiades to find the area and the cosmic dragon, that's the address. That's Indus civilization, ancient India. Now the Sumerian seal can be completely decoded because it has exactly the same thing, a man riding the cosmic dragon. Pleiades, three stars of Orion's belt, man coming out of that serpent. So that's exactly what we're having in the Sumerian Kuduru because the, the serpent coming out of the temple and these strange symbols for the two other temples are on the seal. Right there, look at them. Those are the three temples on the ground, as above, so below, and one active, and some strange rod with fire coming out of it. The Tree of Life in uh, Sumerian depictions is always shown like this, a disc that flies, cosmic serpents being manipulated, the womb opening of the cosmos, and here we have an entity with some device as well opening it. So these are all now making more sense as we get more and more clarity. But there is another Egyptian artifact that is added to the collection. That's the, the three sun Horus. Uh, I call it a, 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 wall, a wall depiction that uh, Tutankhamun had. It shows a three-winged Horus bird with three suns and two stargates in his, in his claws. There are the Shen stargates with suns in them. The Ang symbol for life, as we know. Three wings, in case you can't see them. There's the one small one, the next larger one, and then the main one. The main larger one, I bet you, goes with the one on his head. And the two smaller ones are linked to the small, uh, the, the small suns and the stargates linked to these two wings. It's basically founding civilization symbol for Egypt, the Horus. Now, this Mayan El Baal Stella, ancient astronaut. My friend Martin Moldegob realized that this is the Pleiades in here. And of course, what is this? This is the, the bird-headed symbol to found civilization with Pleiades. And this can be one thing and one thing only. That is the Stargate. And it's showing it here open with the deity coming out of the either an, um, an Amiga upside down or this flower effect as it opens. Headphones, microphone and carrying some sort of uh, package. Astronaut breathing device, gas, just, uh, what do you call it, uh, gas coming from the, the breathing device and of course something on the back is a breathing device and there's a man inside there. This is no ordinary mask, this is probably a helmet. This is available obviously as another one of the artifact collection.